All right, people, we've got a Smash Bros. leak to talk about. I was doing some research for the past hour or so to see if this might be legitimate, and some of you might already have seen it already, but I think this might be real. So if you don't want to be spoiled on anything Smash Bros. Ultimate related, get off this now. But let's get into this. So um, <clears throat> we are here on Nintendo Wire, who has very generously compiled all the information that we need so I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. The original leak came from 4chan, though. Um, so, um, originally posted to Snapchat and then promptly shared around the internet. This leak shows what appears to be the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster, with some sleuthing seven characters can be made out. So, the image is here, and again, I will leave this for you guys to look at in the description down below. Because um, it's pretty blurry here. Uh, as with every Smash Bros. leak, they're always blurry. But you can see Shadow... Banjo-Kazooie, Isaac, who is, of course, from Golden Sun, uh, Ken, the Mock Rider, although some people are debating if that's an Excite Biker or not. I think the general consensus is Mock Rider. Uh, Gino, my boy Gino, and Rhythm Heaven's Chorus Kids, who, as you guys know, were in development for Smash Wii U and were cut for the same reasons that the Ice Climbers were cut. Um, so it's easy, to it's easy to dismiss this as yet another blurry leak, um, but it's worth noting that a few points are in its favor. Um, which were these were collected over on Resetera. For starters, the leaker didn't fully obscure their own name, which led internet detectives to discover, you know, detectives, quote-unquote, that they work for a French marketing firm that handles uh, displays for various companies, including Bandai Namco, the co-developer of Smash Ultimate. You can see a full rundown um, in that link there, uh, but there's some crazy jargon and language and stuff that you might not understand if you're not in the marketing and stuff. Um, there's also the fact that we have yet to see the blank battlefield background of the marketing banner before, um, and the details for the, for, so, and details are revealed for various characters that haven't been uncovered before, such as the tip of Greninja's tongue. However, the true key to potentially validating this leak is an unusual one. Um, the Grinch. <laughs> so, hear me out, but this is super weird, but I totally believe this. Um, so various marketing materials for the upcoming movie are scattered around the, uh, the pertinent Smash info, including a render of the Grinch's back, which can't be found anywhere else on the internet. That render cannot be found anywhere. This suggests that the leaker is at least, uh, at least works at a job where they'd have access to such marketing materials. And if you guys know, that new Grinch movie or whatever is coming out, I think, like, the end of November, November 28th, which is, like, right around when Smash Ultimate is coming out. Um, so... I mean, it would be marketed at the same time, like heavily marketed, um, as Smash Ultimate would be. Um, with all that said, though, it's still possible that the fake, it's a fake leak, and he simply printed this stuff up and brought it into his workplace um, for the sake of authenticity. But, <coughs> excuse me, but outside of that, it still seems like this is, you know, this is one of the biggest Smash Bros. League. Like, this, this person definitely, if this is fake, they put a lot of thought into this, and this is... This is like ESRB leak levels of like, could this be real? Because I remember when that leak, when the ESRB leaked Smash 3DS, that was huge. There was so much controversy. You know, Shulk is a photoshopped Little Mac, all of this stuff. Um, my opinion, I am cautiously leaning towards this being real. I mean, none of the characters here seem too crazy. Phil Spencer has talked about Banjo-Kazooie before. Uh, Sakurai's wanted Geno in since Brawl. The Chorus Kids were in development. Ken and Shadow make very easy echoes. Isaac's been a huge, like, fan request. And we don't have a WTF character yet, and Mock Rider would certainly be that. You know, we had Game & Watch, we had Duck Hunt Dog. Mock Rider is definitely that old-school WTF character. Um, so, as for me, again, I'm cautiously leaning towards this being real. But I gotta let, I gotta see what you guys think about this. I don't see any... Again, none of these renders are found anywhere on the internet. All of these renders in this banner are completely original. Like, no one's been able to source any of these. And I, I know Shadow and Isaac, there's been a little question as to if they're stolen or not. They're different enough. Like, again, I've been looking at this, like, for a while now. They're different enough from the pictures that I know people are comparing them to. Um, so I, they are still original renders. But let me know what you guys think. You gotta find out if this is real or not. This is around the same time as the ESRB leak for the last game, so... Who knows? But yeah, that's all from me. Let me know what you think. This could be real. <laughs> 